Hi, I'm Sherlanya, and today I'm going to try to finish a um, scrapbook that I started to document December, and I'm going to try to do it in 30 minutes. Um, if you're like me, you have a million unfinished projects hanging around your home, and uh, this seems like as good as a time of any to try to get through some of those. So let's see if I can do it. First, let's start with a flip through to see where we are with the scrapbook to start. So I started off pretty well. I thought I was going to get this scrapbook done in a timely fashion. I say with the hindsight of several months. And so basically what you see is that I have selected a photo or a series of photos to go with every day in an attempt to document what was going on in my life in, in um, December. All was well until we got to the 14th. And then you see that there's a lot still to be done. Okay, I guess the first thing that I'm going to show you is um, the workspace that I've set up in order to try to finish the scrapbook. I had to tell you though, like, now that I've set this up, I don't even know if I think I'm going to be able to finish this in a half hour. Okay, so the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stopwatch on the iPad I have in the back corner in order to keep track of time. Um, I have a four month old, so there's no way that I'm gonna get an uninterrupted half an hour. Um, that's half the problem with this scrapbook. All right, so I have the timer started, and um, so I have some photos here that I got printed um, and mailed to me, uh, because it was, picking up photos is obviously not an essential task right now. And I have this, um, I have this, cutter here. So I think that in order to try to get this done in a decent amount of time, I should batch tasks. Um, so my scrapbook is about six by eight inches. And um, I where I printed these photos, I couldn't do a six by eight. Um, print. So what I did do was um, was do an 8 by 8 print. So what I'm doing here is cutting off that extra um, extra couple of inches here. So I've done December scrapbooks. Well I've attempted to do December scrapbooks several times. I successfully did one a few years ago. My uh, teenage son and I had a lot of fun um, when we were documenting what was going on at that time. I have a lot of fun looking at that scrapbook. Uh, there's one photo in it that makes me laugh every time I see it or even every time I think about it because he had told me the story from school that he thought was so funny. Um, he was not wrong. It was very funny, but he was laughing at um, something that happened with an instructor. And every single time I look at that photo, I just feel nothing but joy. This scrapbook is like a December scrapbook, but really, I think it's mostly a baby book. Because um, at that point... My baby son was just uh, was just in his first month of life, and so a lot of what happened that month was just being in the house with him, for me anyway, and uh, that's what a lot of these photos are gonna reflect. This one I'll cut later. I bet the rest of my family thinks this one is super gross because this is when, uh, when my baby's umbil umbilical cord stump fell off and I was like, I want to remember that. I grossed everybody out carrying that thing around the house. They're probably grateful that I'm not putting the stump itself in the scrapbook. Let's see. Ooh, I can't tell what's going on with this one. Trim it here. 
So my goal today is to just have the scrapbook done, hopefully in the 30 minutes. But if not, um, I will finish it today because I have everything pulled out. As you can see, there's stuff everywhere. I even have a TV dinner tray next to this table with extra supplies on it. All right, so I think that I have most of the photos cut to their correct size. So I'm gonna put this away for a bit. That makes me feel like I'm on a cooking show. All right. See, a smarter person would have kept these in order. Oh no, and a smarter person wouldn't have made the mistake that I apparently have made. These photos are not the right size. That's okay, because I know how to improvise. This is a day where my son, my baby son, met a bunch of his um, aunts and uncles. Scrapbooks are funny to me uh, because you have a lot of storytelling ability when you're doing a scrapbook. And I think about that sometimes. Like what if somebody like makes you mad or hurts your feelings or something and what you could do is just only ever put bad pictures of that person in the scrapbook <laughs> and then you just make that person look their worst whenever you feel like it <laughs> and nobody would know except if anybody ever watches this they'll know that that's what i'm doing but for you guys if you ever get mad at somebody take a messed up photo and just have that front and center and then when your baby is like why does Aunt Belinda look like that? Just tell tell your baby. That's her face. <laughs> oh, man. See, I probably don't scrapbook for good. I probably scrapbook for evil. <laughs> One of the things that I um, did when I was preparing these photos um, was to use um, Photoshop elements to do some journaling on the photos. And so some of these will just go right in the scrapbook and nothing else needs to happen. This page, I need to come back to because I made a mistake with the sizing and I'm not gonna just leave photos that have all this white space in there. I don't feel like my scrapbook has to be perfect, but I do want it to look um, decent. I want it to have fun when I'm looking at the scrapbook um, in the future. The other thing I am doing in the scrapbook is to put the date on all of the pages somewhere. So this one is going to need to have a 14 because that was the 14th of um, 14th of December. Um, this one is one that I just printed out and there are a bunch of 15s across the top. This is the umbilical cord picture. And when I was prepping this... I used my um, die cutter to um, print out numbers. So this I'm just gonna trim. I didn't know where I wanted to trim it when I printed it. But I think that I'm just gonna try to take an inch from each side. I think these pockets are actually a little bit wider than six inches. Yeah, they're closer to six and a quarter. That's what most of my photos are. I'm gonna just do the six by eight. Let's see. another photo to measure this. Let's 
So when I decided to um, do this for AADL TV, I wasn't thinking about the fact that I don't normally talk to myself when I'm crafting. Uh, so it's might be a challenge to keep keep dialogue going. I like to keep the um, little ads that you get when you order photos because then it's a good scrap paper to do things like apply glue. But if I want to write on the photos, I find that that's a good way to figure out how your ink is going to interact with the printing that is on your on your photos. And I might wind up doing writing on some of these photos a little bit later. So I'm going to put the 16 on here. chance of making that number nice and neat. <laughs> 20 minutes left. Oh no, I wonder how many minutes <laughs> left there are. And I'm wasting one of them looking. Yikes. This was a losing battle from the beginning. Alright. And then there was one day that I um, worked on a, worked on this Lego kit that I get every year that I usually don't finish. And then I have some wrapping paper that I used this year um, on the other side of this. And so that is still Day number 16. Oh no. I probably will wind up trimming this because it's hard for me anyway to get these lined up. I'm going to try to start at the top. Get it as straight as possible. So now I will trim it. Space hanging out. That did not work the best. This one worked better. And so that needs some holes punched in it. So what I am going to do is take out one of the um, plastic sheets that I have here and use the hole punch. Um, to do this. I'm using the plastic sheet as a guide. So I put the holes in the correct place. Did I do this wrong? That's so funny. I'm making all sorts of errors today. But that's okay. The point for me is to get this done. It's already languished for a few months. And if I don't do it now, it will languish for more. And later I'll remember that I made that error punch when I was doing this. Let's see. So I have the 16 on here. Um, page 17, I plan to have some wrapping paper that I used that season, but I think that I think that I left it downstairs most of it. So that's not helpful when you're trying to do something in 30 minutes. Um, but I do have this one piece, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and cut that. These are all two by two squares. 
Um, just wanted to make sure I have enough. Uh, so what I'm going to do is make one side of this nice and straight so that I can measure the two inches from a straight edge. And then I usually cut these a um, little bit less than two inches if I remember to do it um, so that it fits easily in the square. And I have the letters wrap, W-R-A-P, uh, pre-cut in here. Because I want them to sit in, in there. And that's day 17. I also have some numbers that I bought at some point. And let's see if I have the numbers for 17. I have a 7. Do I have a one? It looks like maybe I don't. Halfway yeah, mark. <laughs> We're gonna come back to this page. Oh, okay. So this is one where I wanted to capture um, tummy time for the baby. Since that's what you're supposed to do so that they can build their muscles. Oh, I think I had, I think I had a four by six for this. Oh, yep. And so I want that picture right there. Um, so I'm going to have to slice it, which is super weird. I don't like slicing pictures that have, um, people in them it feels weird um, but I guess I don't dislike it enough not to do it and so here I am chopping my sweet baby into bits super weird I think this is gonna be the first time that everyone in my household is gonna be able to be like I told you so I wonder if they're gonna just celebrate telling me that I was wrong and that I actually couldn't do a thing I thought I could do. They're gonna start their own scrapbook and just have it just be like we told her so. Let's see. So that's the tummy time one. I need to put the date in there somehow and then figure out what I wanna do with this extra space. Um, let's see. I see what my plan was for the 21st, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, and do that. That was a day that I actually left the house. And I was not leaving the house a lot right after my son was born. I had... A rough recovery. Let's see. I wonder if I even have all of the... Oh, here it is. Because that's what happened. We went out that day and got coffee. And then we came home. And stayed in. This, I think, I actually want to add some journaling to. Because my post-it note said we went out and then we stayed in. And I like that because that, that will help me remember that story. This one, let's see, this is another photo, full page situation. I was reading a... Um, 
board book to my baby and he just yawned all over the place and I think that may have been his first book review that's what I'm calling it and so I have that and this is a page that I had a plan for um, and I actually I think I have so I have this cut out that says book review and then um, the number 22 is on it because that was the 22nd. But this piece of paper is super big. Um, part of it's on purpose. Is what I'm going to do is fold it over so I can tape it to the photo. Let's see. Check the time. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to finish the scrapbook in 10 minutes. Um, but we'll see how far I can get. And then my backup plan was to, um, if I was unable to finish this, go ahead and finish the scrapbook and then come back and tell you guys how wrong I was in my estimation. So that seems like that's what's going to happen today. You guys, I had some technical difficulties in the making of this video. Um, I did not have enough storage uh, to make the video that I was trying to make. And I was just crafting along. And then I checked on things and saw that I had not been recording for quite some time. And I'm sure that I ate up the remaining 10 minutes. Um, but I did finish the scrapbook. All right, so the scrapbook is done. I'm going to start in the middle. Um... So we can see what I worked on today. And as you can see, I am a messy crafter. And so there's still some work to be done because I have to clean up the mess I made today. Oops. Guess I don't need these post-its anymore. made this little booklet to go with the photo that I had, uh, to go with a day that I had many photos. I made the base of this ahead of time and actually only just did here the photos today. And that's it. Thanks for watching AADL TV, where sometimes you get to watch somebody watch the clock and lose. Good night.